Good afternoon, brothers and sisters. Today is October 17, 2020. I have a very powerful dream I want to share with you guys. And this was definitely from the Lord. Um, I hadn't had anything quite like this. I can't even remember. <laughs> All right, so let's start out. Now, I was also given the interpretation of this dream, okay? And throughout the dream, I was also shown, and I knew what was going on. I knew what it meant. And then when I went over it this morning with the Lord in prayer, there was one part that I wasn't sure about if it was connected, but the Lord told me specifically that it was. And he had asked me some questions, and, and through that, I, I understood this one part. Okay, so it started out where I saw myself um, way beneath the water. Okay, there was all this beautiful blue clear water. It was just beautiful. And I was way beneath it. And at that point, I knew in the dream that I was in the spirit realm. All right, because just like now, I could breathe, I could move around, okay? So I wasn't literally underwater, but I, I was in the spirit realm. Now, I saw in front of me, off to the side, a set of stone steps. Now, these steps, when you climbed up these steps and surfaced, you were in the world, okay? And and when you stepped up into, off these steps, it connected to a huge swimming pool. The water was just absolutely beautiful. I didn't see anything else beyond just this big, huge swimming pool. And I knew that that was the world. So as I stood there, I saw some people come up out of the spirit and go back into the world. And I saw some people coming from the world into the spirit realm, okay? So a few people coming in, coming out. I could see this. Now, at this point, I was told to show these. Uh, there was a couple people there standing behind me. I was told to show them around. So... um I don't know who these people were. I could not see any faces or anything like that. So I was looking at these people, and I knew that I was to show them around. So when I turned back, right before me was the most beautiful marble white stairs. Okay, this was a staircase that rounded up like this. It was, it didn't go straight up, but it curved, and it had this rounded base at the bottom. And I mean, it was just the most beautiful set of stairs I've ever seen, but they were pure white, and I knew they were marble. And when I looked down at myself, I had on a white gown that came down to my feet, okay? Just a white gown. I was very, uh, I knew I was in my spirit because I was very thin, okay? I always tell Brian, wait till you see my spirit. So anyways, I started going up these staircases, the staircase, and the people followed me up. I got to the second floor. When I got to the second floor, the the carpet was a deep red, like, velvet. It was a beautiful carpet. And there was all these windows. And when I looked out the window to my left, I could see that swimming pool. Okay, so I was in the spirit. And I was up on the second level. And this place just, when I, when I would turn right, this place just kept expanding. And I saw big white columns from the ceiling to the floor. Again, marble white columns. And everything was just really, really beautiful. Well, when I turned to my right, when I got to the stop, top of the steps, I turned to my right. Um, it wasn't a hallway, but it was, um, we, I started moving in that direction with these people that I was with. And when I did, and I looked off to my right again, okay, so I'm going up, I turn right, I'm going straight, and then off to my right, I saw this place that I was in just continually expand, okay? So I met up with a couple other people. Now, the one woman's name was Jackie. That was the only thing I was told about these people was one person. Her name's Jackie. And we uh, we know that Jackie actually is um, associated with the word John, and her name means God's grace. God is gracious. So as we stood there, I saw... Like I said, the room was expanding, and I saw a man. I knew he was a teacher, and he was, like, kind of jogging to catch up to us. Now, I knew that this guy had his own room, okay, and he was a teacher, and it was a classroom. And I was also made to know right then and there that this man's spiritual gift was teaching. He was a teacher of the Word. And that was his job. And I saw him come out of his classroom and hurry up to join us. Okay, so we all met together. And he was either going to replace somebody or, um, I'm not really sure about that part. But anyways, I'm just going to tell you exactly what I saw. The next thing that stood out to me that I saw was sprinkled on the carpet before us were fall leaves. 
Okay, I don't know why the leaves are there. I don't know if it's symbolic of anything. I'm just going to tell you what I saw. So beautiful fall leaves were sprinkled onto the carpet, just like somebody would sprinkle um, flower petals at a wedding. Okay, so at this point in the dream, the scene stopped. Okay, that stopped. And the scene changed. Now, in this second scene, I was still on the second level in the spiritual realm, okay? And this time I was walking, um, I was a little bit further ahead than, than um, where I was in the last scene. And I was in a different area, and it was like this huge hallway. And there was people coming back and forth, not a lot, just a few. But I did notice this woman that was following me. And when I would turn around to look at her, she would kind of duck back. And she did this a couple of times until I entered the room. Now, when I entered this room, I just entered in the doorway and I turned around. And that's when our eyes connected and she was standing like across the hall. What she did was she said my name. She said, Rhonda. And she pulled open her jacket and she pulled up this envelope. And it was like a big vanilla envelope, something that you would put documents in. Well, I knew at that point that there was information for me in this envelope. Okay, I knew it was information. And it was, you know, she was giving it to me. Now, after this happened, I turned around and, and continued into this room. Now, at this point, this was the part where I wasn't sure about, but the Lord uh, gave me confirmation. He uh, told me exactly what this meant. So what I saw when I went in this room was I saw a man. I saw that uh, this man was actually an actor that I'd seen on TV. And it was in a particular show that I watched a long time ago. And... Um, he was standing there, and I knew that he was being held captive in the spirit realm. And he wanted out really, really bad. And my thinking at this point was, why would anybody want to get out of the spirit realm? You know, this was all God. Why would you not want to be here? And then I knew who this person was, okay? Now, as I watched, I knew that he was about to break out of here okay so in this room uh, ahead of me was another huge window when you looked at that window and you looked down you could see that swimming pool again okay that that was the world now i knew at this point that he was planning to crash through that window he wanted out so bad but he was being held captive in the spirit realm at this point he was not allowed to do anything okay and he was very, very angry. He was mad. He walked up to the window and he was like measuring how how much he would have to move back to be able to jump through that window, okay, and just make a, uh, a clear landing to that swimming pool. And I saw him like touch the window and just, you know, eye it up, okay? And like in a movie where they show the ending first and then, then go back, I saw him literally just spring and jump through that window Millions of shards of glass just went everywhere, okay? So I, I could see that this was going to happen. But the point where I was at in the dream was he was just getting ready to do that. Now, again, he was very angry, and he did not want to be there any longer. He was ready to go, and and that's what he was going to do. He was getting ready to, he was walking back, he was getting ready to charge and go through that window, okay, into the world. So when I woke up, and uh, the, this was just this urgency in me, and, I, and I, I knew there was something very important about this dream, that was the one part I couldn't understand. And the Lord said to me, Rhonda, what is an actor? And I said, well, an actor is someone who pretends to be somebody else. He said, yes. He said, what was about this, this actor? What did he play? Well, in the movie, he played a very arrogant man. He was very arrogant, very cocky. All the women just loved him. He just thought he was all that in a bag of chips. And he was evil. The man that this character played was an evil, possessed man, and it was arrogant and, and all that. So that's when the Lord laid, you know, showed me that this was symbolic of the Antichrist, that he is getting ready to break through the spirit realm to come into this world. And we all know that when that happens, the church of Christ is going to be raptured out, okay? We know from the Bible that this is exactly what's going to happen, okay? When, when the Antichrist is, is um, 
thrown out, thrown down to earth, or however you want to put it, that Jesus will rapture his, his church out of here. So that's what I was shown. I was shown that that it was just so close. Now, I don't, I don't know the timing on this, but I can tell you from the urgency that the Lord put on my heart and what he showed me that it was extremely close. I knew without, I think my glasses are perfect. I knew without a doubt that I was in the spirit realm. I knew that. I was in this beautiful place. And I knew that I was given some information that was like top secret. <laughs> I mean, that's what it kind of seemed like anyways. But but I saw that he was just, uh, he was so mad. He was just pacing the floors. And he was, he was measuring up that window because he was about to jump through. Oh, here's the other part I forgot. The, there was a couple people with me in this room. Now, we didn't have to talk to each other. We just knew what each other was thinking, right? And we were all thinking the same thing. We want to witness this. We were like, I want to see this happen. So we all went down to the bottom floor because we wanted to go outside, which would have meant go out to the world. And we wanted to stand by the swimming pool and watch this guy come through the window. But we weren't allowed. When we went down to the bottom floor, me and this other gentleman, I don't know who he was, but we were like, we can't get out. We can't see this. So that made me think that, yes, we're going to be with the Lord either at the same time or, or you guys know what I mean. We're going to be with the Lord. We're going to be in the spirit. We're going to be with God when the Antichrist comes upon the earth. So that's why we couldn't go back out. We couldn't, you know, we couldn't go out and witness it. Because it made me think that it was because we aren't going to be here. That's why we wouldn't be able to witness this. But in the spirit realm, I was able to witness it. I was able to see this, that he was angry and he was just furious because he was right now he was being held captive in the spirit realm. He wasn't allowed to leave yet, but he was getting ready to. I mean, I saw him literally come through the window. I saw him eyeing it up, getting ready to just jump through. So... I wanted to share this dream, and I'm so very thankful that the Lord just showed me exactly what this all meant, what, you know, the interpretation, everything, and I just found it absolutely amazing and absolutely urgent, I'll, I'll be honest. Um, no, you know, we don't know the time, we don't know the day, we don't know, but God does give us signs and he gives us warnings, so... I just want to ask you guys to please pray. Pray to be found worthy to escape what's coming upon this earth. That's what the Bible tells us. The Bible tells us to pray to be found worthy to escape everything that's coming upon the earth. This is what was laid so heavy on my heart today. If you don't know Jesus, I am begging you, please call out to him today. I talked to somebody today about the, this very thing. Call out to him today, please. I don't know what else to say. I know I've been saying the same thing for uh, quite a while now, uh, a lot of years, especially in this last six months. But please, please call out to Jesus right now. Don't wait another moment because we don't know how long we have, okay? Um, and like I always say, you know, don't wait until a certain time because we none of us know. None of us are promised tomorrow, for one thing, so always be ready. But with this particular thing that I was shown, I am wanting to drive this home a little bit deeper here. Please, please call out to Jesus today. Ask him into your life. Accept him as your Lord and Savior. And he will do the rest for you. Okay? All we can do is share with you the truth of the gospel and try to lead you to Christ. But Christ is the only one that can save you. So don't... don't um, depend on any man or woman to do that for you just call out to jesus today that's how i got started i just started calling out to him and asking him what to do um uh you know and he will do the rest god will do the rest but anyways i think i covered everything in this stream and like i said um i definitely lord the, the lord definitely gave me the interpretation of this so I was in the spirit realm, and that swimming pool, when you come up out of that, was the world. 
and this is where Satan is getting ready to, he's getting ready to come, okay? So those of you that do know Revelations, you know the word, you know that this, what I'm talking about, you understand it, okay? So I love you guys. I pray for each and every one of you. I really do. Please pray for your loved ones. Pray for those that are lost. And um, if I get anything else, you guys know, I'll let you know. But um, um, I just pray that uh, that this encouraged you. And, and always, always, please pray for discernment, no matter what. I mean, I, I know that I know this was from God. I know that he literally he spoke to me. He showed me the meaning of this. But I still ask you to please, please pray for discernment, always. We always must test the spirit, okay? So if you guys get anything or whatever, please comment. If not, I will talk to you guys next time if we're still here. So I love you guys. I'll talk to you later.